officially the next day. I don't know if I recorded for you guys the day before. I think it, I'm almost for certain it was the day before yesterday. So um, with it, I decided to just go ahead and continue the vlog. Um, so today, I do this every time. My face be so tight in the morning, y'all. And I promise that's not like ash or anything. Y'all know I'm still healing. But from here, it looks really, really good really really good y'all know i got burnt a few months back back in 2022 and it's been healing ever since it's finally one smooth texture so yeah um however um however um like i told y'all it's a new day today is tuesday may 16th we are getting closer to surgery every single day like so anywho um today is um today is my pre-op appointment um so i meet with um someone on my bariatric team and i'm only saying someone because um i have seen this person in my chart like my my chart like you know for your medical records i've seen her in my medical charts before um i just haven't gotten to officially meet her i Again, I don't know if I said on my last um, slide, my uh, footage, I don't know if I said on my last slide of footage, but I would have much rather, not much rather, I shouldn't say that. I would have also rather to um, meet with my surgeon, which that's what I kind of assumed that I would be meeting with my surgeon before surgery. But give or take, and granted, because I've been through this process before, you usually don't, unless you request it for some reason. However, um yeah point blank i would have much rather um or also rather to meet with my surgeon too because that's another thing um my face is so itchy. all right so hey y'all so i finally made it i'm in the car um it's me and lex and um i finally made it to my doctor's appointment well it's not necessarily a doctor's appointment but i have to get lab work done so i'm actually at one of the local um lab corps and if you are from the area here in philadelphia you would know a little bit about where we are just a little bit so with that i'm going to take you guys in there with me um we actually have to walk through the sax fifth um the sax fifth mom we have to walk all the way over there um hopefully y'all can see that i don't know um, but I'm going to take y'all with me. I could have put it up higher, but all right, I'm ready. I don't know why I thought it was always this way. Yeah. What would I do without you? <laughs> now I get the door for me. Whoa, is it heavy? Somebody needs to work out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm kidding because I remember the last time. This is so peaceful just to come and sit. I'm trying to tell you, I'm yep to get out the house to get away from you for sure. Come in here. I don't know why, but I just like it. I think it's really pretty. How you doing? Which way do we go again? I don't appreciate your Wait, what? I don't your kiss my knee. I don't your oh, you're funny. That is not what I thought you said. This is when you start for leading the way. I try. <laughs> I pay attention sometimes. Yeah, because girl. Now I'm All right, y'all. So quick update. Um, and I'm trying not to be loud. So my, I don't even know what to call her, but one of the ladies at my bariatric office did not, um, she didn't, apparently, she didn't put in scripts for me to get lab work, but she put on my paperwork that I needed lab work done. So, of course, I come down here, no scripts, not me, not thinking, again, I don't work in the medical field. And now we're waiting for this to get resolved for the lady to call me back so that way they can handle faxing over my scripts. So, I'm hoping that this won't take too long because I'm a little annoyed. I don't like looking stupid. <laughs> I wanted to go sit down with the young lady and the young lady's like, oh, she was like, do you have your paperwork? And I'm like, no, I had to get to that, which makes sense. And then it hit me. She's like, oh, well, you need your paperwork, um, like your script. So that way we know, you know, which makes sense. They need to know what they're, you know, drawing for. So here it is. I have no script. So we're waiting. So, yeah, I will keep you guys updated. <laughs>
But um, she was really good. This girl was patient, huh? I think two. Um, so y'all, I'm finally done. I had to wait for my scripts, and we are now on to our our next appointment. Lex is in the back. Say hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> All right, hey y'all. So we finally made it to my second appointment. Oh snap. I was expecting a phone call. Hey y'all, sorry I got sidetracked off some other stuff. So anyway, we made it to our my second appointment of the day as we are getting closer to surgery. Um, this is my pre-op appointment. Um, I believe this is the appointment. I don't know why you guys look so zoomed in. Huh, there we go. Um I believe this is my appointment where um, they're going to probably tell me what to expect, what to go over, um, what are my goals for, you know, the surgery and things of that nature, um, you know, and probably give me some informative information about what to expect for surgery. So I'm going in to meet with Miss Anna. This will be my first time meeting her. And yeah, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you guys um, some really cool, like, um, features of the building that I think is pretty neat over here at this location which is um like the Jefferson's um, Navy Yard here in Philadelphia so yeah I'm gonna take you guys with me huh you said I'm always tripping <laughs> that's probably right all right y'all so this is the, the beautiful building here at the Navy Yard I think the funnest part for me, which is kind of strange, is getting on the elevators. I don't know if I should go this. Did we go this way last time? Yeah. Okay. doesn't have her glasses Man. go figure mm -hmm. i offered my glasses but you know that got shot down like i don't know what that's supposed to mean like shots fired but it's cool here i am being supportive even yeah. though i'm getting low-key insulted <laughs> you're not being insulted it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay. we'll check in with you guys a little later And that makes sense for this barometer for um, oh, after surgery. Oh, Not you trying to have some too. But they gave me a nice little goodie bag, which I think is pretty neat. Um, when I had my first surgery, you know, they didn't do that, you know. But I think it's pretty neat. Oh, and then they gave us this. I don't know, what's this? Creamy peach. Oh, look at this flavor. Creamy peach. Ooh. Yeah. And then, what else do we have? So I was just fishing through the bags at some goodies that they gave us. Um, that um, well that they gave me I said us but I will be sharing these these are these shoes right here um, I know they have those on um, is it the bariatric pal bariatric pal or something then they give me a spirometer this is pretty cool to take home and then so again a lot of goodies that I can use for after surgery and surgery care so yeah we like gifts, right? It. Yeah, 
But guys, we are headed to two more weeks and it's surgery time. You guys need to my You think they'll keep you? They, they, they keep, keep you. you. They keep you from one night. I might ask them to keep you. you. Check you into the psych ward. Whatever. Two more weeks, guys. Two. Put them tools in the air. Two. Put them tools in the air. So guys, that was it for today for our bariatric appointment. Um, meeting oh, Miss Anna was really, really, was meeting Miss Anna was really, really funny. She's funny, I liked her. Um, and yeah, so again, put them twos up because we got two more weeks. Two more weeks until they snip and cut me. <laughs> I will see you after surgery. <laughs> Thanks for watching and tuning in, guys. Be sure to subscribe, and I will be sure to catch you guys on the next one. Bye.